Men at Arms by Terry Pratchett Hi everyone, I'm June and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about Men at Arms, written by Terry Pratchett and published in 1993. This is the 15th book in the This World series and the second in the City Watch series. Here we follow the story of the City Watch, or better say the Night Watch, because they work at night, which is the police in the Ant Morpur city. The City Watch has opened the doors to new officers. A woman, a dwarf and a troll are part of the Night Watch as a way to diversify the new recruits. And just when Captain Bynes is about to get retired and start a new life, someone steals a very interesting object, a new type of weapon which is one of the deadliest artifacts ever invented. After some murders, the City Watch has to start investigating which is this new weapon and who is behind all of this. We know that the City Watch is just a bunch of losers, but since the first book in the City Watch series, we noticed how this group of people start becoming real guards, empowered guards. We know they are not wizards, so they don't have magic, they are just simple people who can do such unbelievable things, though. I have been too much into this fantasy world or idea about this world that I haven't even noticed that City Watch series is all about police or detective, mystery story. Men at Arms was like reading an Agatha Christie's book, but with the crazy and silliness of the this world. I enjoyed the feeling of mystery in the plot, I was trying to guess who was behind the murders, but the surprising ending was more than I expected. One more thing is that I love the way Terry Pratchett shows how helpless City Watch characters are. After all, they are just normal people or creatures with no magical powers. Well, kind of. Well, you will understand once you read it. And I don't want to spoil the book, but this was the first book that made me feel sad. So in Men at Arms, we see that aside from the humor, we can find a very deep serious and mature work. Men at Arms is a continuation of Guards Guards, so you read them in that order. We can see many references from the previous book and there is a continuation in the storyline in relationship with Captain Bimes. Well, what else can I say? I love the story, I love the book, of course I recommend it. Okay, that is all for now. As always, stay safe and be happy. See you in next video. Bye bye.